Today I am going to be planning the week of April 12th through April 18th. I'm going to be using my Erin Condren hourly life planner. I use this one for work. Um, and I'm going to be using the Scribble Prince Co. Princess Party Kit. It is my youngest daughter Brinley's birthday this week. So I wanted to throw that in. I've been hanging on to that for quite a while. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, so I have this in the neutral. I like the, the neutral tabs there. The colorful ones just, they don't work for me. I feel like they kind of clash with some of the stickers I use. Um, for the planners that I don't use stickers in, I think that colorful works, works pretty well. So um, I white out a lot because when I'm using stickers, a lot of, a lot of it shows through. And just to give you an example, um, I like to um, start my day, start my day at seven and end it at four. So those are really the only hours I care about. And I like to get the full boxes in there. So I'll put the full boxes on the top usually. And then sometimes I do day extenders so I can put to-do boxes, um, the things I need to do. But I found that I'm not really looking at those to-dos. I am relying pretty heavily on what's in my um, Outlook calendar for work. So I don't think I'm going to do the box extenders. I think I'm just going to do the full boxes and then change the hours. So let's dive right into it. So first I'm going to white out any of the holidays and I'm going to white out the days of the week. And I'm going to white out this calendar also because I don't, I don't use that. Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with whiteout. Um, I don't like liquid whiteout because it takes too long to dry and I feel like it scrapes off too easily. Um, but my Tombos, I don't roll them straight. So you'll see some of that, um, some of the scraggly stuff because I... I don't do it straight and it gets kind of cut off. So um, I wait out the hours from Monday through Friday. I don't use Saturday or Sunday in my work planner unless we have a release on the weekend, which we actually do have a code deploy this weekend, but we don't have any um, touch points until Monday. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to put anything on there or not. I'll probably just fill it up with deco. Um, so this week I am working all five days, Monday through Friday, um, toward the tail end of the year. A lot of times, um, especially last year when we weren't really going anywhere, um, I saved up my vacation time and just took off every Friday and Monday, <laughs> or actually I took off every other Friday and Monday. So I would have a four day weekend every other week, which worked out really well, um, the joke was kind of on me because we were all at home with COVID. So it's me stuck in the house with my kids, not having anywhere to go. Um, but we did have a lot more family time. And it was especially in the, the later spring and summer, um, having the kids out in the water and playing was, was a lot of fun. Um, so this year, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I know we're not we're not going anywhere, um, but I don't think I'm going to do the Friday, Monday thing every other week. I think I'm going to take off every Friday. So every weekend will be like a three day weekend. Um, but it depends. Sometimes meetings get in the way of that. If there's a meeting that I really don't want to miss, then maybe I'll take a, a different day of the week off, but maybe next year we'll do a, a family trip. Jason and I have a 20th wedding anniversary next year in April. So we're thinking about maybe going somewhere. So I start off, I'm probably just going to use the full boxes. Since I'm not doing box extenders, I don't think I'm going to use, I might use one or two here or on the weekend just to jot some things down. I'm going to use the washi, but I'm going to cut it. Um, I don't, I'm going to use probably Monday through Friday 
and cut off Saturday and Sunday. Use that in the margin. Um, I might use might use this one. I don't think I'll use anything on that one. I might use this box. Uh, I don't know about these. And I might use some of the deco. We'll see. So these are the ones I plan on using. Um, I forgot to grab. Here we go. And I can never remember what size I like to do. use um, the rest of the washi which is really just sticker paper um, at some other time but I haven't done that with the other ones yet I'm just kind of holding on to them we will see um, last week was an interesting week because we were off for Easter um, well we weren't off we didn't have vacation um, the place that I work um, now does a, a holiday called My Holiday where you can choose what day, um, one day of the year to use as kind of a personalized holiday. For example, if um, you celebrate, Easter is what I actually ended up taking it off for, but um, if you celebrate a holiday that the company doesn't already have off, um, I work at a bank, so it's all, like all federal holidays. Um, and my husband was off. He works at a an energy company. And they're off for Good Friday, which is really weird because most companies don't take, um, don't take a day like that off. Um, so since he was off and the kids were off for spring break that weekend, I took off. Um, Friday I used my holiday and then on... Monday is to vacation day. And then Friday, I ended up being sick and a migraine. So I stayed on the couch and watched TV most of the day. Um, one of the things with this life planner is that the bottom washi doesn't, um, doesn't fit quite right. So I kind of try to center it in the area available and it works for me because I don't look that closely at it. And it doesn't bother me. It used to. I used to really like um, having things lined up like 100%, right? It, like one of the things I, I don't like, and my sister laughs at me about this, is that um, I do eight full boxes here. A lot of times you'll see people start um, just their corner box up here, which is really pretty. But it, it just it irritates me on my spreads because it's not lined up completely straight. Um, so I just put it down here and it also irritates me that I've got Monday through Sunday, but I don't have anything up here. So I end up cutting another piece of, of washi that's the same size as the day headers and put it over there just to even it out a little bit. Some of my, my nerd work showing. Um, so it was really weird. Um, I don't. You mentioned earlier, I don't use a lot of vacation time. So when I am off, um, I actually don't know. I think I want to do it up here like I did before. Um, and it gets it a little too close to the edge. Um, since I don't usually take a lot of vacation time, it feels like a lifetime when I'm off, which is amazing. Um, even though I didn't really do anything, just kind of hung out with, with family. Normally what we'll do on Easter, um, is our immediate family, our actually extended family will come over. So we'll have between 30 and 40 people over for Easter at our house, um, which is really, really fun because all of the, the kids are about the same age. Although as they're getting older, they're kind of losing interest and in just hanging out, um, so we'll see what happens in the coming years, but we didn't we didn't have people over for Easter last year or this year. We ended up going to my mom's house, um, and my sister also went. So there were ten of us there, but we didn't get to see the extended family, which is kind of sad because my cousin Angela had a baby not too long ago, and I haven't met him yet, and I really want to because I've seen pictures and he's adorable. 
Um, but I haven't, so it would have been cool to get to see him. So I don't... Um, this kit was actually a, um, a Scribble Prince Co. Misfit kit. So I didn't get, I didn't buy the, um, the glitter washi that you can get. I'm sorry, the glitter headers that you can get. I would have if I was ordering the full kit because I, I like using those instead of washi and we don't have to cut it. Um, I probably could just put this straight through, but it's another one of my nerd quirks. I don't like, I don't like having a space here between the full boxes and the headers, but not having a space with the washi. Um, so I just, I like to tear it. I don't think I did last week because I, I didn't want to take the time. And it kind of bugged me. Like I'll, I did, I did cut it between here. Although last week's was kind of weird. I guess I cut this one too. Maybe next week I'll, I'll be brave and suck it up and see if I can do okay <laughs> with not cutting my washi. Um, this is the um, Simply Gilded gold washi, which usually I like her washi with the gold foiling on it or silver, silver foiling, but um, I didn't have any that I thought would look okay with this kit. Um, I have pink with silver foil but because there's some gold in this kit I really wanted to use gold and I did we don't have pink with gold right now so I'm going to use this gold with white bows and see how it goes I also think I'm going to put some of this maybe over in the middle of that washi in the bottom we'll see um this week I am a Scrum Master at work, which is kind of a funny title when I first heard it. Um, I used to be a, a project manager, a program manager. And when I first heard the term, term Scrum Master, I'm thinking um, like rugby, how they have a scrum. And I was like, what is that about? I think I'll stick with these eight up at the top and then find a place for this guy on Saturday and Sunday. Um, so Scrum Master, if you guys don't know, is um, you're kind of working on an Agile team with software engineers, product owner, and you're kind of coaching the team, removing impediments and things like that. So there's a lot of, a lot of short meetings, um, and every other week, we do two-week sprints, and every other week we have sprint planning, and our end is sprint review. So... Those are what we're calling our busy weeks. Um, so this is going to be one of our busy weeks with our demos and our sprint planning and our retrospections. Um, the other weeks are relatively quiet. We really just have stand up and backlog refinement. Um, but this week will be a little bit weird. Um, a lot of meetings are very last minute too, and a lot of meetings get rescheduled. Um, so that is why... A lot of times I like to use the, the friction ion pens because I could just erase. Um, but then I get the look of, um, I get to use ink instead of pencils. I end up using pencils in my, like my personal planner. I use the um, Aaron Condren focused, um, focus planner, which is horizontal. I end up using a pencil there because that changes a lot. Um, and I don't use stickers in that one. And then for my memory planner, I use the Aura Estelle A5 wide. And I use a lot of stickers in that one. Um, I lost my washi. There it is. Um, so I, I like using the erasable pen on this one because meetings move. Meetings get canceled, priorities change, and that's a lot easier if I don't have to white it out. Although sometimes I like to, um, I do like to use colored pens, so I will use the um, like the Tombow white out when I if I have anything to white out. Um, if I do use a pen that can't be erased. 
So I like that. Um, I don't think there's anything else out of the ordinary going on this week. So hopefully it's a relatively quiet week. Um, right now, we have three openings, actually just two, because we hired somebody. Um, so we have, we have two openings, so some of us are kind of filling in on three sprint teams instead of two. So it gets a little bit, a little bit crazy, and it's hard to kind of choose which meetings to go to. Um, but I'm pretty lucky that the three teams that I'm working with right now are very self-sufficient. They're pretty, pretty mature teams and don't really need me, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, but there are some things outside of, outside of the sprint team meetings that I end up working on, um, like program related, trying to, um, put together an improvement backlog, what we can change as a program and how the scrum masters are going to introduce those changes to their teams. So I get to do some fun stuff outside of the sprint teams, um, too. So we'll see some of those meetings pop up. I think, well, I've got this out before I lose it again. I'm just going to drop that guy down. I like to actually make my own stickers a lot. And I use um, the matte white vinyl because you can peel them off a lot easier. And I make a lot of mistakes. So it's, it's, it works out better for me if I could pull stickers up easier. Um, the, and they're easier to, to write on too. I feel like with the, the glossy, there are fewer pens that I can work with if I wanted to write on, say, these like half boxes or quarter boxes. Um, I have to be kind of particular about which pens I used or they might um, take a long time to dry and they might smear. Um, so I prefer matte white vinyl, but the glossy is so pretty. <laughs> So uh, I think I'm done with this guy. Um, then I usually end up just penning in my meetings, but I might want to find one that says this week. There we go. Oh, here it is. This week. And I just dropped that guy in the middle. I don't line up my stickers very straight. Um, used to really bother me, and I'm kind of letting it go. Um, then I'll do a to-do. I usually put the things down that I have to do this week on the margin. And which one? Maybe this one. Although, which... I feel like I'm missing one that I just had of oh, this guy. Hmm. Do I want it to be like super pink over here? I don't know. Um, I kind of want a light pink, like, <laughs> like this light pink color, but in this. Uh, I'll start with this guy. And there, um, I try to kind of assign a day to anything I have to do. Um, like if I have training that I know I need to get done this week, um, I'll say, okay, I know, say Thursday is my light day. Um, I'll pen it in for a certain time Thursday, but sometimes I will go ahead and put it there. Um, is there, I want one that says work, maybe. Yes, work. And not that this really matters because I work the same hours every week unless I'm on vacation. And this week I'm not on vacation, so um, I don't know that I necessarily need anything like this out there. Um, like um, this week I was on vacation Monday, Friday I actually ended up using a sick day. Um, and if I write on the, this was with this erasable pen, but I don't think, oh, you can. I thought it would tear up the stickers. That's awesome. I'm going to change that. And write, sick day. Sick of work. No, I'm just kidding. Um, 
it's one of those days where, you know, the, the good thing about working from home is that if I have a migraine, I can turn all the lights off and I can dim my computer monitor. I can have relative control over the sound levels, so I don't end up using as many sick days, but, um, Friday was just rough. It was pretty rough. Um, I can't really see the letters on here, so I think I'm going to use the pink one. That's a lot of pink, and I'm not really a pink person. Um, but sometimes I love it. So we're going to just kind of, there's that kid's book called Pinkalicious. The little girl ate too many cupcakes and she turned pink. Um, <laughs> it's me. I'll be Pinkalicious this week. All right. Monday through Friday. And I think I don't have any meetings later than I normally would. So I think it'll just be seven to four all week. Um, I want something here, but I don't know what yet. So I'm going to leave that blank and we'll start with, um, I actually do have, it's kind of like who schedules meetings, um, on a, late in the day on Friday. It's kind of like the same person that would schedule an early meeting, um, on a Monday, but this meeting was actually supposed to be Friday. Um, but a couple of the key people on the team ended up being out, so I wanted to reschedule it. Um, eight, nine, ten, um, chartering. So we don't have a team charter. And what's kind of weird is that most of the people on the team have been working together since, um, I think most of us started in 2012 in this particular area, but not everybody's been working with each other. And then some of them just came on board maybe two years ago. So, so um, we've been working together for a while, but what's interesting is that um, we brought in one of our coaches to talk, to go over team roles and what we think the responsibilities are and um, what we think they're not, and if there's any confusion or overlap, and yeah, I agree that that's part of our our role, but that's not our reality, and it is actually really interesting because um, I can't write and talk at the same time. Probably should have done voiceover, but um, what's interesting is that people ended up um, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, ended up bringing up some problems, bigger problems that we're seeing on at the program level which is kind of awesome so we're going to look for consistencies across other teams and see if they're seeing the same thing to see if we need to have any changes that are that are made um so we're doing a workshop <laughs> continuing a workshop that we actually started last week um first thing in the morning on monday and then i have stand up for my other two teams um, relatively quiet afternoon, which is awesome. Then we're doing monitoring builds. Um, I actually have a, a meeting at my daughter's school at nine. They're going to call me, so I might have to miss that meeting. Um, this is one of the, the downsides to having a paper planner um, and using this particular, um, like using an hourly planner. If I had a vertical planner, what I used to do was I could put both things down at nine o'clock, and that way if one gets canceled, um, I don't lose sight of both of them, but I don't want to try to squeeze both meetings in on here. Um, so that's kind of what I'm running into. There are a couple other days where I'm double booked. If one meeting gets canceled, I'll go to another. But for now, what I end up doing is just jotting down um, the meeting I know I'm going to go to. Although, really, I know I'm going to go to the IEP meeting, so I probably should have written that one down. Um and then I have a reminder to reschedule some meetings, but again, I've got that on my calendar, so I don't need to write it down here. Normally I would have if I would have had my to-do boxes underneath these and flipped them up like this. Um, so for Monday, I don't know, I might do, 
I'm a, I might do gold foil for the dates. I don't know if I'm going to pen them in or if I'm going to put gold dates on there. I forgot about that. Um, so Tuesday, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in all this, and then if there's anything I want to call out, I'll circle back and... Uh, one thing to call out is that one of my teams do our sprints end on Tuesday and the next sprint starts on Wednesday. Um, so typically we'll wrap everything up and then we'll do our end of sprint reviews um, on Tuesday afternoon and then do sprint planning on Wednesday morning. But because we have offshore contractors that start overnight, um, we end up doing sprint planning for this particular team the day before, um, which is unusual because one of my other teams also has offshore contractors, but um, we do um, sprint planning the next day with the assumption that nothing's going to change because their backlog's pretty well refined. Um, stand up. And it's, it's actually funny. Um, I was not working with any of the three teams that I'm working with now when I first started as a scrum master. Um, so I didn't help them or didn't participate in choosing a sprint name. So some of their names are, it's pretty funny. Um, cause a lot of the team members get shuffled around, especially when new teams are, um, created, they put more of the senior developers with the newer, um, team members, which kind of shakes things up a little bit, but then their team name isn't really theirs anymore. So it's, it's weird, but I have Team Jetsons, Team Incredibles, and Team Phoenix, which I think are kind of all silly. I kind of like the name Team Phoenix, um, but Jetsons always makes me smile um, in a kind of a weird way. Um, and Incredibles makes me laugh. Um, and here's our first demo. Product. And that's an hour and a half. And then 2.30 is another product demo, which is, this one's kind of weird because it is 45 minutes. So I kind of need to draw a line here and just sprint review. And that's it for Tuesday, Wednesday. I have stand up. Let's do this. Um, one of the reasons I like um, the cloud planner or any ring planner really, um, or the um, last year I used the um, Aaron Condren daily planner, but the binder and. I liked it because I could write all my to-dos on one side and then all my meetings on the other side, but then I had this big white space at the bottom of every page that I couldn't find a good use for, and I felt like I was wasting a lot of paper that way, so I stopped using it. But I loved doing that. Um, I loved using those because I could write without my hand um, being on the quill. Oh, you know what? That is actually... Oh, I did schedule a separate separate line and retrospection retros are on my teams I feel like are are kind of fun because it, it gives the teams an opportunity to kind of look back and talk about some of the things that we feel like they've improved on or or things that went well um, but some of the teams in the program are kind of struggling with being able to speak up and um, talk about some of the problems they're having. Like they're, if one of the problems, one software engineer has a problem with another software engineer, they don't um, necessarily want to bring it up. And they're kind of afraid of that conflict. So those are some of the types of things we have to try to work through. Uh, one of the scrum masters I work with was talking about that the other day. It's just, it's really tough for some teams. Which is where sometimes a coach can come in and help. Whoops, that's actually 10.30. If, 
I think I got my times messed up. I just wrote my meetings on a, um, a sheet of paper right here, like pre-plan. Um, instead of pulling it out of my Outlook calendar, I probably should have looked at Outlook because now I'm confused. I ended up um, having three teams is relatively new to me, and they all have um, different ways of doing things. Like Team Phoenix combines their planning and retrospective, which I, I don't really agree with because um, some of the people invited to planning would not normally um, attend refinement. So we have to be careful to make sure those people actually drop the call when the time comes. Mm. And I also find it a little bit unusual to have backlog refinement on the same day you would have sprint planning, but it works out well for the team, so we're definitely not going to change that. One, two, three. You know, the downside of whiting out my hours and moving them down a little bit is um, I always have to count and make sure I'm writing the time on the right line. And really, I do rely pretty heavily on my my Outlook calendar. It gives me reminders and everything. Um, so this is really more of a just a quick glance. I don't have to have so many screens open um, at one time. It's kind of a pain in the rear end to have to go back to Outlook and look at my calendar if I just want to be quickly reminded what my schedule's like for the next day. Um, so I like having it written down. Um, and hopefully this is another one of those 90-minute calls. Um, hopefully this will be the third and last. We might not even need this one because um, we don't want to take too much time away from the team with these workshops. Um, Stand up. And Phoenix. I also have Scrum of Scrums meetings twice a week. Um, where the Scrum Masters, sometimes the product owners, and sometimes the software engineer might join that call too, but we have those. Um, we have them twice a week now, but sometimes it feels like they get a little bit repetitive if nothing has changed um, since the last meeting, so we might um, kind of kick around that idea. Then there's um, other teams that want to have stand-ups with us, not stand-ups, um, like a scrum of scrums. So there are some weeks where we've got just a ton, it feels like, of scrum of scrums meetings, and it just, it feels like it's not valuable. Um, but we're going to give this one a shot. Um, if it ends up not being that helpful, we're going to stop doing it, but um, ooh, this one's my favorite. Um, that Agile Excellence is where all of the Scrum Masters on my team and um, a small group of product owners and product managers and various other managers get together and kind of talk about some of the things we can do to make our program run more smoothly and kind of help us evolve. Um, so that one's always fun. Plus, everybody, um, most of these meetings were not sharing our monitor, our, our video. Um, and that one people do. So it's a lot more fun because it feels like you're really talking to real life people. Um, <laughs> which is not like the other meetings aren't, but it's, it's interesting seeing things like um, one time my son had not yet left for pre-K and he tried to open my door. And he got his head stuck 
um, because I have I have sliding sliding doors. Um, and he tried to kind of squeeze in through the end. So that was fun. I had to excuse myself to, you know, save his life. Um, and then one of the other guys I work with, his teenage son, kind of plastered himself to the outside of his dad's office window, which made everybody laugh, but kind of made him mad. Um, I always think it's funny to see how other people handle their family. Um, and it's good to know that I'm not the only one that has weirdos in my house. All right. Uh, a couple reminders on Thursday, but I think I'm going to rely on Outlook to remind me. Um, Friday, I try not to do a whole lot in terms of meetings on Friday. Um, a lot of the stand-ups end up being canceled on Fridays and we end up using group chat for updates unless there's, there's an issue or something with the teams um, and we need to put our heads together. But Fridays are usually for catching up on trainings, tackling any kind of reporting that we need to do, um, working on personal growth and things like that, which is awesome in my mind. Um, this, <laughs> we have a lot of community of practice meetings and this, this one on Fridays is, it's neat, um, because, um, the, the people faci facilitating the calls have a lot of energy. Um, they're still relatively young, um, community of practice, um, and they're just kind of silly. So it's, it gives us something to laugh about. Um, sometimes it's a little out of hand. And I'm like, why am I here watching this romper room event? Um, and other times, um, it really makes me smile that they're, they're thinking about the things that they are. Um, kind of helps with team building and things like that. And that is a team meeting. And then we have a new um, uh, technical portfolio manager that's working with us, and he wants some help pulling materials from the software that we use for the stakeholder deck that he puts together. So we're going to work with him on that. And that is it for the week. Um, I got my weekends. Weekend. This is actually Brinley's birthday, so um, I might do like the cake deco or something here. We also have a release. We have a release on Sunday. Um, let's see what else I can throw in here. I have this guy. I didn't think about that. Maybe I'll put that down here. And the, the hourly planners, they are just a little bit wider than the standard 1.5 inch. So I try to center them. You can see the little space between there. Um, I thought I might have done that. I don't like how that's so close there. I didn't think about that before I wrote weekend. All right, we're going to rethink that. Um, it's kind of pretty. Maybe I will put, is that too big? Maybe I'll do that. I'm looking for something that I can write I don't know that I went the rounded corners. Um, maybe I'll do this guy. I write down that we have a release. And Brinley's 
birthday. I want kind of a big box. Need this one. Alright. I don't think there's anything that would work for a kid's birthday or a release. I think it's a payday this week too. So maybe I'll put this guy right here. Uh, deco. Maybe we'll do this for the release. Whoops. And we'll do the play. And then Brinley's birthday. Um, let's do this one. Where the little cupcake's cute too. Do a little cupcake. See, cute. Brinley's birthday. So there we go. I still am going to put the dates up here. Um, if I have any to do is I'm going to pencil in there and write my hours that I end up working there That way when I submit my timesheet on Friday, it's a little bit easier, but that is it um, Hope you liked it. Hope you like this kit. I know it's a relatively old kit that I've been holding on to for a long time, but um, it's what I got. It's how I use my work planner and um, It works for me. So thanks for watching if you haven't already um, check out some of my other videos like this. Subscribe to this. Um, let me know if you want to see any other videos and maybe I can put something else together. So that's all I got. Have a good one and I will see you next time.